good afternoon my dear students of standard 8 i hope that you all are fit and fine safe and healthy welcome to this online class only myself jonsi teacher is going to teach one poem of english that is 4.3 the wings written by william shakespeare the poet of the poem the wings is william shakespeare william shakespeare was a renowned poet playwright and active born in 1564 he is known as the english national poet his popular uh, his poems are too popular to this very day the poem the bees is written by william shakespeare he gives a vivid description about the kingdom of bees and he gives us that the bees uh, teaches the art of order that is the order of life to us human beings he tells that the bees teaches the art of order to human beings he tells that the bees are disciplined and active each performing their own roles though they are insects they have the capability to teach we human beings the or the order of life how to lead an organized nation so in this poem the poet william shakespeare describes about the different tasks or activities that are carried out by the bees so students in this poem we are going to study about the different tasks or the different activities or the different roles that are carried out by the bees now students take out your textbook turn to page number 88 we will first recite the poem and then we will understand the poem so students let us get started 4.3 the bees so were the honey bees creatures that by rule in nature teach the art of order to a people kingdom they have been an officers of sorts where some like magistrates correct at home others Like merchants venture trade abroad, others like soldiers armed with their stings make boot upon the summer's velvet buds, which pillage they with many march bring home to the royal tent of their emperor, who busied in their majesty service. The singing masons building roofs of gold, the civil citizens. needing up the honey the poor mechanic porters crowding in their heavy burdens at the narrow gate the sad eyed justice with his yawning hum delivering over to executors pay the lazy yawning tone by william shakespeare now that we have recited the poem now let us understand the poem so were the honey bees creatures that by a rule in nature teach the art of order to a people kingdom in this lines william shakespeare tells us that the bees teach us the order of life to we human beings the bees though they are small insects they are giving us a meaningful information they are giving us a meaningful Think about the life. Then how to lead an organized life? How to lead a uh, lead the order of life? Next, they have a king and officers of sorts, where some like magistrates correct at home, others like merchants venture trade abroad. So in this lines, the poet William Shakespeare says that the kings and officers are carrying out different tasks. sorts meaning different activities or different tasks so in a bee hive they have a king and officer like in our country we have president prime minister government in the same way the bee hive that is the honey comb they also have a king and officer to look upon the different activities done by the bees then there are magistrate bees they do the collective work at home Home means the beehive. They collect the other bees to 
to do the work properly then there are merchants merchants are the people who do trade that is who trade means buying and selling of goods so merchants are the people who carries out trade so your trade means the there are merchant means who goes and collect nectar from the flowers whether from the flowers which are beside or whether from flowers which are far off so the honey bees what is their work the merchant bees they go and collect nectar from the flowers next other side soldiers armed with their stings make wood upon the summer sweltering parts which village they with many much in home to the tent royal of their emperor who visited in his majesty service so next there are soldier bees soldier bees they go to the uh, they go uh, they go to the early morning class when to when the uh, when early morning happens when uh, in the morning early in the morning when the class open the soldier bees they go to the uh, they go to the class and they collect nectar from there pillage meaning loot loot means they steal the nectar from the class so what do the soldier uh, soldier bees do the soldier bees they go early in the morning they go and they steal the nectar from the class and they very happily they come to the bee hive and then they give to the emperor emperor what is the work of a emperor the emperor he supervises the building of the bee hive he supervises the work here yeah. so what does the soldier bees do the soldier bees they collect nectar from the flask they steal from the flask and they bring and give it to the emperor the emperor he supervises the bee hive next the singing masons building roofs of gold the civil citizens eating of the honey the poor mechanic porters crowding in their heavy burdens at this narrow gate so what do the uh, what is the work of the masons the masons they build the roofs of gold your roofs of gold means nothing but a honeycomb or a bee hive so the masons build the honeycomb so uh, like for example in our life also in human beings life also the masons uh, they build the house they build the buildings they build uh, they build homes for us likewise for the bee hive also there are masons who build their bee hive then there are citizens civil citizens that is the civilian officers they need of the honey need of the needing means they mix up the honey they convert the nectar to honey they are whatever the honey is being brought by the uh, by the soldier bees or by the merchant bees those nectar is being converted to honey and those and that honey is being supplied to us human beings so we don't know the value of honey how honey is being converted it is a big procedure of converting from nectar to honey so the bees they convert the nectar uh, to honey well, which bees do the civil uh, the civil officers the civil officers they convert the nectar to honey the poor mechanic porters that is the mechanic porters they bring the honey uh, they uh, they bring the honey and they give it to the king they uh, they bring their heavy burdens at this narrow gate narrow gate means to the king they bring the heavy burdens of nectar or the honey and give it to the king next the sad eyed justice with his sorry hum delivering over to executor's pay the lazy yawning drone the lazy yawning drone so here there are two hard work that is executor executor means a bee who carries the sentence and drone means a male bee so the sad eyed justice that means the judge bee with his bad temper he gives he hands over the uh, male bee that is the uh, that is the drone he deliver he delivers that is he hands the male bee to the executors executors means those who carry the death sentence why he hands the uh, why he hands the male bee to the uh, executors because the male bee is very lazy he does not do any work so he uh, the so this judge he becomes very angry with this male bee because he does not do any work 
so he gives the male b he hands over the male b to the executor to give him a death sentence so this is what uh, is given over here so this is what the poem is all about so in this poem william shakespeare wants to tell us that the honey bee teaches the order of life how to lead, uh, lead an organized nation now to lead, uh, to lead an organized nation we want uh, we want people to lead uh, to carry out different activities or different tasks so in this poem the honey bees uh, the poet william shakespeare wants to tell us that uh, how different activities are being carried out so uh, this is what the poem is all about now students we will see the hard words and the meanings so the hard words uh, so there are some hard words which are given over here the first one is sorts meaning different activities second venture means take up a new project third pillage means loot fourth drone means a maybe fifth executors a be who carries death sentence so in this poem the uh, the poet wants to teach us we human beings that uh, we think that insect life is very easy but it is not as simple as that as we human beings think so uh, the bees teach us the order of life how to uh, live a organized life so now students uh, we will again recite the poem 4.3 the bees written by william shakespeare so the the honey bees creatures that by a rule in nature teach the art of order to a people kingdom they have a king and officers of sorts where some like magistrates collects at home others like merchants venture trade abroad others like soldiers armed in their streets make food upon the summer's fragrant buds which village they with many march bring home to the tent royal of their emperor who visit his majesty service the singing masons building the roofs of gold the civil citizens kneading up the honey the poor mechanic porters crowding in their heavy burdens at the narrow gate the sad and justice with his lonely heart delivering over to executor spray the lazy donning tone now that we have again recited the poem let us see the figures of speech from this poem so in this poem the figures of speech that is uh, the sentence which pillage david many march bring home this sentence which pillage david many march bring home tells us the figure of speech about alliteration alliteration means the sound of m is being heard so many march m sound is being heard so the figure of speech over here is alliteration the next figure of speech that is the civil citizens needing of the honey here again you can see that the sound of sir is being heard that is c is being heard so what is the figure of speech over here again alliteration the civil citizens civil citizens uh, that is the sound of c is being heard so here again the figure of speech is alliteration so there are two figures of speech over here that is both are alliteration now that we have seen the figures of speech now let us revise what we have studied today so first we have studied about we have first first we had recited the poem then we have studied about the poem we understood the poem line by line then again we recited the poem then we saw the hard words and the meanings so in this poem we have seen the different roles or the activities performed by the bees first one is the magistrate bees the magistrate bees they collect the gold at the honeycomb or the bee hive then second is merchant bees merchant bees they do trading that is they go and bring nectar from the flowers then third is soldier bees soldier bees again early in the morning they go and steal the nectar from the open flowers and bring and give it to the give it to the emperor bees then fourth one masons what is the work of a mason the work of a mason is to build the honeycomb he builds the honeycomb or the bee hive 
Fifth one, civilian bees. Civilian bees. The work of civilian bees is kneading of the honey. Kneading of the honey means mixing of the honey. The civilian bees he he converts the nectar to honey. And the sixth and the other bee is the judge bee. Judge bee he they are he his work is to judge who does the work properly and who does not do the work properly. So in this poem, the judge bee. He uh, hands the male bee, that is the drone, to the executors. Executors means the bee who carries the death sentence. Why he hands the drone to the executors? Because the drone does not do work properly. He does not do the work. He is just sleeping. He is yawning over there. He is uh, always in sleep. So the judge bee hands the male bee to the executor bee. So this is what the poem is about. So in this po uh, poem, William Shakespeare tells us about the order of life. He tells us that we should work in unity. Unity is strength. We should work in unity. If we work in unity, then the task or the uh, or the work will be carried perfectly and without any problems. So we should always work together in unity without any grudges. Grudges means without any bitterness. We should help each other and we should work. So in this poem, the poet tells us that the bees, they are very active and they are disciplined. They are performing their own individual roles. So the poet is telling that though the insects are very small, though they are very small, they have the capability to teach as human beings the order of life. So this is what the poem is all about. Okay students, I hope that you all have understood the poem. Okay students, thank you. Take care. Stay safe.